winning during your loosening season and going to a costume party. Top inspired by Wes Watson. And today's lovely Minty Podcast you made. It's the 20 something, 21st, 22nd of March, I believe. And uh, Wes Watson uploaded a video that and it got me thinking. It got me thinking. <coughs> and then I could discuss it to further absorb it and uh, share that insight. Because he said, uh, Try to imitate his voice when he says, uh, "Yeah, you know, uh, sir, I would like to buy that um, <coughs> that bitch outfit or that tough guy outfit. I'll take this one, this one, and this one, and uh, put on some tattoos, put on a get a blunt and a drink, and act tough, and then." Uh, when I go to sleep, I'm gonna cry myself uh, to sleep because of my problems. <clears throat> and uh, he also said that Monday to Friday we we go to work, we go to our to our job, and then uh, go back to our regular jobs, our real jobs, or to our real selves on the weekends. says that that's basically a big uh, a big costume party and, he's, and even he even he stated about himself that he was a bitch that he uh, was soft and that he asked for adversity and that our weakness will come from those times where we don't seek uh, adversity challenges pain for growth and he, and he went, went down to saying that <coughs> something like uh, we will start losing, getting weaker when we're winning from comfort. Let's see which one works better. Light blue, dark blue. <coughs> but, but I really like that where said it's your choice to to win when uh, it's a bit harder to lift this color but I'll use it I'll stick in dark one um, I, I really like that uh, <laughs> um Recently, a long time ago, and many times, clients of mine have said, oh my goodness, you do all this uh, artwork, you travel here, you do that, you fuck all these bitches, you um, have fun, you travel, whatever the fuck, I wish I had uh, your job, if it is a job. I remember more than one person, so when I say this story, I wouldn't want any one person to think, you know, is that you talking shit about me? No, I'm not talking shit about you. Or better yet, I'm not just talking shit just about you. But I'm thinking. A lot of people who said, yeah, man, I'll travel with you. Yeah, man, we'll start that business together. Yeah, man, well, fuck all these bitches. Yeah, man, well, go do this, go do that. And these are people who were bigger, faster, stronger. Um, on paper, they were more educated than me. And... Um, 
they didn't. Um, oh man, uh, you don't understand, man. I got bills. I got a family. I got a wife. Um, I don't have time to sleep. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. And I'm like, cool. Um, handle, handle it. Handle it. I like both color schemes. Let's see right now how this works. Maybe forward that way. Forward this way. softness of this blue. I've had these markers here for a while. Because I have them in the box or just here where I could be using them. Other art supplies I could just use them. I can bolt actually but I can make here they have right there. Could be pretty pretty outstanding. Like life, man, no do overs. <clears throat> and to uh, and, and to win during your losing season, I really like that a lot because I, I think of the times where. I could have given up. And again, I think of the people that say, man, you're so lucky that you could just uh, draw, just tattoo, just uh, drink on the job, just uh, lose your eraser. <laughs> I don't think you have eraser. Probably recently, I think, I think of plenty of people who would have tapped out. Plenty. Uh, for doing, from doing what I did, which was um, going to work with uh, the COVID, the COVID fever. From 4 a.m. to 9 p.m. working. Working on my life goals. Oh my goodness, you're so selfish. What if you killed anybody? Uh, all this careful as could be. But don't think that I was out partying and fucking when I caught this shit. It's probably some fucking some dumbass I knew that either went to Costco or to fucking Starbucks that fucking got me. But. But I, I did that, and um, and also on that note, uh, swine flu was way worse. The swine flu was so bad. I don't know what year it was in trend, 2007, 2008. But that, that, and that was when I was eating much, much cleaner, working out much, much more. <laughs> fever was so bad the, the fever was the second pain the first pain was the body aches but the body aches were so bad that I felt like I had to be in the fetal position on the floor um, and uh, I think it was only like a three day fever and I think I only ate crackers and Gatorade and some sip, sips of water but yeah, that, not that was pain.
Today, when people say, uh, things are tough, man, or I'll do this, I mean, but something tough, something happens where it requires you to be tough, no, they'll, they'll tap out, man. I remember one time uh, I was invited to a workout where I knew I was going to be murdered. <laughs> At least my legs were. And um, <clears throat> um, it was a longer drive. A um, earlier workout schedule and the only thing that I knew of was that <clears throat> the only thing I was trying was that the workout intensity was going to be uh, um, a level a standard where um, it's going to be up to my body too no, not even my body my reputation ego and willingness would be the standard, would be the timekeeper, the coach. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, dude, I remember that workout, man. Uh, one of my mentors. And, um, yeah, man, constant party. I'm probably getting more memories than, than thought processes, thought process than thinking of, um, how I've been like a bitch lately and uh, yesterday was good because I fell asleep tired I fell asleep um, fucking um, with a clear mind I fell asleep thinking all right let's see if I remember to do this one goal tomorrow first and schedule everything else afterwards again don't go to the costume party and win even during losing season